The peace of Christ be with you. I wanted here to give you all an update on decisions made by our church's leadership about the operations of our church and our facilities. But first, I wanted here to thank everybody who participated in our church reopening survey in the past few weeks. We had a great response rate from our church family, and it helped us to shine a light on your feelings about our church, what we've been doing, and how we proceed from here. Uh, for instance, for instance, 75% uh, of you said that you have engaged with the online worship that we have been offering in this season and that it has met or exceeded expectations. On the one hand, you said that you loved being able to snuggle up with your kids on the couch while you worshipped, and that's great. And others said that you loved being able to shower after church instead of before, and good for you. But then on the other hand, though, some of you expressed grief that you aren't able to be near your church family right now. One person in particular said that it hurts them that they aren't able to hug their friends in church like they used to. So that pain is real, and we can't just wave it away. So when it came to when the church might consider resuming in-person worship again, we also had a wide range of opinions from our church family. The vast majority said that sometime in July might seem the most reasonable or comfortable for them. Then others said that they might not feel comfortable coming back in person to worship until the world was back to the way it was before this pandemic even started. Now, we don't know when that might be or if it ever will happen, but that hesitance is understandable. There were others then who said that we should open everything back up immediately and that it was ridiculous that we closed in the first place. And so I love that passion for us to meet again as a church and to express our faith together. So taking all of that into consideration, as well as the most up-to-date information from our denomination, our state, and our country, the church's administrative council met last night in a meeting. So of all the decisions made at the meeting, the most notable is that we have adopted a soft re-emerge date for worship in person for July 19th of this summer. So this is contingent upon several factors, and much of this, uh, like life in general, remains fluid. Then our administrative council also adopted other documents, which are linked in the description for this video. These are also being emailed and mailed out to our entire church family so that everyone can have all the information in their hand that's available to us at this time. So as we prepare for July 19th as a church, there are so many ways that we are being the church in this time even still. From Sunday morning online worship, uh, to morning prayer services on Facebook Live twice a week, or to Bible studies over Zoom, or to volunteers calling our less connected members. We are being the church even in this time. Uh, so as you process these decisions, also note how we're describing what we're doing here. Uh, we are uh, re-emerging, uh, not reopening. We're not reopening because we never really closed. Our building might not be bustling with activity as it was a few long months ago, but the church has remained active and vital. So rather than reopening, we are planning, we're planning our reemergence. This is a season of new explosive growth and vitality as a church when we come together and remember what it meant for us to be the church in the first place. So in closing, remember that we are the church. You were called by God to be a disciple of Jesus Christ for such a time as this. 
the fear, anxiety, and frustration of the world pale in comparison to the hope, the peace, and the joy that are yours in Christ. So I ask that you prayerfully consider all the ways that you can engage with your church family in this time. And then I also ask that you be in continued prayer for our church. So thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Congratulations and thank you for sticking with this all the way to the end of the video. Please know that I will update you as soon as more information becomes available. And know that your support of this church is invaluable in this season.